Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Now a month ago I put up a community post and it was saying that I would like you all to ask me some questions and I was going to do a Q&A video and so you get to know me better and this is this video. So I am going to start off with the questions that you gave me and answer them for you. And um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's been a little bit, I'm not recording in a little while and I'm just trying to get like back into the swing of um, using things um, and what's not, so bear with me. So um, the first question that I was asked was from Dale G. Hunter. I put my glasses on because I can't see anything. <laughs> Dale G. Hunter one yes um he asks favorite gaming series assuming i play any and i do play games um quite a lot which i shouldn't because um i end up not doing anything else and get very distracted quite a lot my favorite gaming series quite a fair bit actually um i'm not going to put them in order or anything like that i'm just going to like spraff them okay so it's not a series, but one of them, my favourite ones, is Haunting Ground. Now, if you're not familiar with that, it is a Capcom game and it's a single player. It's a horror survival game. I fucking love that game. I played that... God, when I get it, it was like way back in the day. And this was in game, right? And it was a tenor and I was with my friend and she pointed it out. And it was one of those like secondhand gaming bins that you had back in the day. And it was like about £10 and she's like, look, there's like, um, get that game, that's really cute. And I was like, oh, it's got a dog in it, absolutely, I will get that game. So yeah, I picked it up and we went back to mine and we are playing it and um, yeah, it was a horror game. And it was like a survival horror, really fun, awesome music in it. If you ever get like a chance to play it or even just watch it on YouTube, definitely give it a, like a watch or a play or whatever. It is really fun. Um, it's got a dog, like I said, and his name's Huey and he's so cute. He is your companion and you go around from him. It's so good. Um, some other fran like actual franchises, Little Nightmares 1 and 2. I actually played them on um, Twitch a couple of years ago when I first started out really like the games there's a third one coming out so i'm looking forward to that and it's a multiplayer game as far as i'm aware and i want to play it with my partner because he really likes a lot of nightmares games as well and i want to get into playing that um another one would probably be south park stick of truth i played the shit out of that game my partner bought me it way back in the day and i love it i have played with the fractured butthole but i didn't really like it as much as the first um one I much preferred that. It's actually really funny because when I was playing it, <laughs> I was playing the game for ages and I mean ages in it. There is a part, I think it's um, it was Al Gore that you're defeating and I was so annoyed because I could not get past him for, it took me so long. I was like not, I was just like, why am I not able to get past this arsehole? And then it, my partner pointed out, he's like, um, have you leveled up? And I hadn't. And I had been playing for freaking hours and I hadn't even leveled up. And I'm like, ah, that's probably why I'm really weak then. So, yeah. <laughs> um, that um, game's really fun. I love South Park. South Park's really fun. I actually have the figurines. We got them off of, um, I think it was off of eBay actually, a few years ago. And we've got the ones from Sick of Truth. We've got Cartman, the, 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 the people. Um, the fucking people. Um, Cartman, Kenny stan kyle and butters and they've got all their outfits from sick of truth so the, how they're the characters in the game we've got those little figurines and they're really cool i like them um i like the tomb raider franchise but my favorite game of all time is tomb raider anniversary i have played like the original ones like the second one is one i played and i didn't like it i didn't like the controls and um, i remember playing the second one back in the day and it was the and when you're in China and it was the tiger and that scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. I did not, I liked the game but I did not like it at the same time if that makes any sense. Like as I'm playing I'm scared, I just, obviously that's the whole point but like um, I didn't like the controls. I remember in the third game I had that, I still have it but I never got past um, the first level because I kept getting stuck and drowning in the the little watery bit and I didn't like the controls. To my anniversary, I that was my first one of the first proper games I bought myself and I got them PS2. Then I lost it. Got it for X Xbox 360 and actually managed to complete the game. But um I had it and I just preferred the game the best. That was my favourite one. 
I have played the remakes of Tomb Raider, but what I don't like about the remakes of it now, so like Tomb Raider and Shadow Tomb Raider, all that kind of stuff, I've played them, completed them, and I liked the story, I liked the game, but what I like about Tomb Raider University is that you can jump a bit, I was telling us, me and my partner were talking about this, because he agrees, what we like is the fact is like, the the game you can just jump about and be a character and muck about and play so like as you're playing Tomb Raider you can jump and you're like hanging your body around and like do all these crazy ass like as you're playing Lara Croft you can like play um do all these crazy ass stunts if you will or there's a part where you can jump into a ledge and then as you're lifting up you can do the certain move and she like swings her legs in the air like kind of like a handstand you can't do that in the other ones because it's too realistic and I find it kind of boring after a while because it sounds cool at the first but then it's like all these quick time events and it's like annoying so I don't like that much and health bars holy shit what I liked about the old ones is the fact that you got a health bar to say like if I jumped down something I was almost dead so I had to use a bloody med kit in the other one, it just greys out the screen and I can't see shit. So, <laughs> like, I know that's kind of a, a point as well, but at the same time, it's like, I like to be prepared and know what's going on. So, yeah, that was annoying. Another franchise I really like is um, Spyro. My partner and me um, actually just finished playing the orig- the trilogy with the remastered version. Really, really fun. Um, one of our favourite characters was Moneybags. So every time he appeared, we were just like, oh, it's Moneybags, yay! <laughs> it was awesome because we like he's just the way he goes about things. He's so cool. Um, so I really liked playing them. They were really fun. The part in, the, I think it's the third game and you have to do the, the part where it's the skateboarding. Bit. I like the idea of it but when I was playing I'm like I can't do this and I managed to as, as soon as I calmed down I was like de-stress it's fine and then I was able to like muck about with the the what's it called the skateboard and that was all good but um yeah I really liked uh, that as well Ratchet and Clank um is another one my partner got me into playing Ratchet and Clank so it's one of his favorite and the third one is my favorite one up your arsenal because I really love Captain Quark and there's a part that you get to play him and it is like these um little mini games and you get to play him and I love it and there's little like comics done of it and it's freaking awesome so yeah that was really cool uh what else oh the sims the sims um franchise a game that I used to play a lot when I was um growing up I had all of the not all of them but I had like the first original one and then um moved on from that and my, my pr- bleh, sorry my friend at the time got me into playing the Sims, and then she got them, and we got into Sims 2, and Sims 2 was the best one. Had, like, the pets one, the business, all those kind of things, nightlife. Um, there was, I think that was all the ones I had, actually, but really enjoyed it, and let me call all families and stuff like that, and I got Sims 3, played that for a little while, then it was on Steam, then all of a sudden it didn't work anymore, it was really annoying, and then um, got Sims 4. Not played it in a while, it's um, not installed, but I was playing it and actually managed to get like add ons, not add ons, yeah, add ons, yeah. And I got them so like different like hairs and stuff. I mean, there's like really awesome characters. I was so happy because I never had anything like that because my friend had all those kind of things. I never did. Um, it's like mods and stuff, is what I mean. And I never had anything like that. So I actually got got them. My partner showed me how to get the stuff, and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. There was a one point actually that I went and um, got a mod that was um, for like murdering and everything. And I was like, oh my god. So I went and did, I, thought, I had this really cool story idea. I was like, right, I am going to get um, this character, right? And I'm going to make him a murderer, and he's going to live next door to this other character. So I made them, and I spent hours making these characters. And I'm not even kidding. He he just went around and murdered her right away and I was so annoyed because it took me like an hour to get this character all like done on because I was like okay I'm gonna do her hair like this and she's gonna look like this and blah 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 and then got murdered and I was like are you kidding me <laughs> so I had to make another one I just went in like I just wanted to make this like really cool like murder house and um yeah and there was a zombie one as well but I don't think I did that as well as I wanted it to go so I just went and murdered people but um then I couldn't get attached to them because whenever I'm playing the sims I have a certain way I like to make sure they are really well skilled and get their skills skills up and stuff like that um because I'm shit in real life so <laughs> and I'm like trying to make skills in real life I've got like none so I make my sims have these awesome skills and they can have them instead um but like when I was um playing it it annoyed me because I couldn't get their skills up because they kept getting freaking murdered and I'm like damn it <laughs> so yeah um that was annoying um, Dead by Daylight is one of the ones that me and my partner play all the time as our favourite. I mean, the main Michaela, but now Sable's in the game. 
and I started meaning her because obviously she's like the gothic character of course I got to play her so um yeah Dead by Daylight is um, one of me and my partner's like favorite game um, franchises to play I mean Michaela and he likes Mean with Dwight and we have so many inside jokes we didn't get into the game until about like 2022 and we have had so much fun playing it we um going and playing together and um, mainly a survivor main then i'm a killer like i don't like playing killer very much i find it too stressful to be honest and plus as well like i like playing it with my partner so it is um a far more fun playing it with him than it would be just playing it solo i feel i feel like when i'm playing killer i go in and i'm just like not having any fun anymore but if i do have to play killer i like to play scream because i think it's really fun and um, but our favorites to go out when we're playing dead by daylight is playing against myers playing against scream because we love the killers that are really quiet and stealthy and it's far more fun um once we hate we hate bubba we hate legion we hate the doctor they are so obnoxious and annoying especially legion legion sucks <laughs> like every time we're just like in a legion game we're like oh my god no because it's so annoying every time you're trying to play like on a gen and you're trying to like do stuff or whatever and he just comes along and uh, hits you i know the whole point is obviously to get you to stop doing stuff like that like doing gens and try to heal and things like that but it's it takes ages with a legion game and i'm just like Pah! so annoying doctor um i just i hate screaming and getting found it's like nah and and bubba just takes you down like one hit and it's like no <laughs> that's no don't like that but yeah we've got um ones that we do like going against because we've got our own little inside jokes is wesker <laughs> it's so much fun but i like um i like going against wesker um that's really fun it's because my partner makes me laugh all the time. Like, we'll be sitting, like, playing the game, and um, even if it's, like, a really crappy match, and they're camping or tunneling, he always makes me laugh, so it just makes it far more fun, definitely. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I need to get, like, game footage and stuff like that I was playing, because we haven't played it in a while, little while, but, yeah. Um, but he likes me and Dwight, and he just, he just makes me laugh all the time. We've got so many inside jokes. And I think that's what makes it more fun. You've got your inside jokes with your partner or your friends or whoever. It makes games so much more fun, definitely. Um, some other games I've actually like not um, completed but I have been playing and I'm enjoying is Alice Madness Returns. Really like that game, really fun, definitely recommend it. And uh, Frambo is a game that actually I was enjoying playing and I put that up on my YouTube if you want to check it out. It's, um, it does sound like a very amateur voice acting in it as well. Um, it was actually alright, <laughs> so enjoy that. I really liked that. One actually I just finished playing was Mad Father really enjoyed that game definitely check that out it's a little pixel game but it's a horror one it's like a survival horror really fun um i completed that and got that finished that was really good i've been wanting to play it for so long that was really fun um but that's that's all the games ones anyway but um yes um i'll go and move on to a different question now because i kind of just blabbed on for like about 10 minutes there so i do apologize for that um uh one from irish brotato is what made you want to do youtube um definitely from wanting to do youtube i would probably say i have an urge to blab and talk nonsense till my little heart's content that's probably what made me want to do youtube um i like watching like videos and stuff like that on youtube and i was just like yep yeah, i want to do this too my partner was saying like i would be really good at it and he inspired me a lot that's another question actually so i'll answer that part in that question um but um yeah he said like definitely you should do that and i was like so i did yeah <laughs> um sorry to be twitch and everything and then obviously we went into duds i oh, know sorry no it didn't it didn't it started with youtube and uh, for the first then it went to twitch tiktok and then it went to youtube and it just youtube now so yeah um golden fuser 5095 asks what inspired you to do this okay for this question, when I wrote this um, community post, I was an idiot and I thought this question was for the community post. <laughs> so I'm really sorry. When I replied, I, I actually replied and I said, um, no idea, just came in my head randomly and thought, oh my God, let's do that. That was that was some more to the community post. I was talking to my partner and I was saying to him, like, because he was talking about it as well, like about doing Q&As and I was like, um, yeah, that's actually really cool. I actually really like the idea. So, um, when I answered that, I want inspired you to do this. That's what was that was. <laughs> I got into my head. That was the question asked because I'm an idiot. So I do apologize. But um, for um the actual question, what you're asking, I would definitely say my partner. He definitely inspired me to to do this because 
I, like I said, like before, I just like blabbing and watching stuff on YouTube and just thought, you know what, I want to, to get on, involved and do this kind of thing. So, um, he actually, it was actually back in 2017, because he said to me, like, you should um, definitely think about doing it or, or do it. And at the time, my computer wasn't able to handle recording and live stuff and all that kind of thing, so I did try to do it on Twitch. And um, it was a different count though. So I just tried to do it on Twitch. And when I was trying to do it, I was actually trying to play South Park, funnily enough, but it wouldn't work. It was very stuttery. And I had a webcam and everything like that. And um, no, it was just rubbish. So um, I didn't do it until um, like August 2021. I made my YouTube channel, which is this one, and back then it was actually called Nicolina Games, and I actually was playing my first, one of my first ones uploaded was Agatha Christie, the ABC Murders, and you can check that out, and you'll see the massive difference when I was barely speaking, because I didn't know what to do, I was just like, really bad, and back then I used Movie, movie uh, Windows Movie Maker to do my videos and things like that, and I've come a long way since, <laughs> but then... It wasn't until October 2022 that I went on to doing Twitch and that is when um, I ended up like doing this more and everything and yeah, just I would just definitely say my partner is definitely one that inspired me to do it and he said that I should give it a go and um, started it from there. It's annoying though because a lot of old VODs that I did back in the day for Twitch, um, really of the really beginning, I didn't understand how to save them. So uh, they're gone forever, unfortunately. But the ones I did manage to save, the little nightmares, I put up on my YouTube channel. So those are there still, and you'll see the difference between now and then. But that's all. That's all really good because even back then, I even I drew my own avatar. I like I didn't have um a VTuber or anything like that because at the time my PC wasn't able to handle having like a 3D link like I have now. And I just drew my own thing, completely different style and things like that because I know it sounds kind of silly, but I was kind of worried in case like I was off putting, if that makes sense. So like I was just a kind of normal looking VTuber. It wasn't all gothy with skulls and like this kind of thing. It was just very much like plain because I was worried about being myself, if that makes sense. So even like my way I was speaking, I've noticed that when I look back and I'm like, yeah, I'm just really too insecure about being myself and then I talked to my partner many many times about it he's just like be yourself and then people will gravitate more and he was right because I met all you guys and you are all awesome and you just last and listen to my shite you know <laughs> I'm glad you um, enjoy yourselves and and things you know so yeah I definitely definitely say that I hope you don't mind if it's called Eric because I'm not sure if that's pronounced correctly if it's not I do apologize and um, he's asking what kind of music do you like the most Oh, lots. I like lots of music. I like rock, metal, goth, rock, pop, punk, pop, blah, 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 blah. Pop, punk, rock, pop, punk, emo, musicals, everything like that. So this is Albino Rhino 4044. He's asking, uh, or they're asking, what horror series do you enjoy the most? For movies, um, I have to say The Conjuring, Insidious, Saw, Evil Dead and Scream. Me and partner binge these a lot. They were awesome. We literally would just sit and like watch them all. We haven't seen the Nun two yet, so let's watch that. And Sidious five, technically the Red Door one, we've not seen that. Um, but yeah, really, really enjoyed them. Uh, for TV shows, for that kind of thing, Walking Dead, Supernatural, Buffy, Angel, and the Scream one. We watched and we binged the Scream one for the first two seasons, and we're like, yes, season three, this is gonna be awesome. What's gonna happen next? And they changed everybody every cast member was gone it was completely different and we were so annoyed because it got cancelled we're like no oh my god it was annoying so yeah um that really sucked um i definitely that i think there's probably more honestly oh we just finished wednesday actually that was really good i really enjoyed that and there's going to be the second season so when that's going to happen i don't know um but yeah so or we just finished that so that was really good actually i really enjoyed that um if there's other horror ones that I've missed out, um, I just freaking <laughs> can't remember. But that's the same one so far anyway. Um, okay, what other ones? What is... This is from, sorry, Evil Goku 777. What's your favourite movie slash anime shows? Uh, I actually wrote this down because I had to like remember things. Um, so, favourite movies. These are my favourite movies. Babe, 
The Little Mermaid 1 and 2, The Craft, Sweeney Todd, Hellboy 1 and 2, Labyrinth, The Lion King 1 and 2, Enchanted, Beauty and the Beast, Twilight Movies, um, Harry Potter franchise, Pirates Caribbean, Anastasia, Adam's Family 1 and 2. That's ones I can think of from the top of my head. There's no, there's tons of others I just can't like remember and at the same time the ones I've mentioned like horror series obviously they can count I'm just going by like I'm not going to repeat myself obviously. Oh no sorry like favourite movies as well for like Miyazaki movies I would definitely say Howl's Moving Castle and Ponyo. Those are my favourite ones I would say. I've watched them a lot of the time and they're really really fun. Really like them. So for like anime shows and things I'd probably say Death Note, Spy X Family, Black Butler, One Piece, Full Metal, Al Full Metal Alchemist, Nana, Card Captor, Black Clover, My Brothers and Mermaids, and Doctor Stone. There is so many other ones that I really, really like, but I those are the ones I can think of the top of my head. For favorite for favorite characters, I'd have to say Sebastian from Black Butler, Anya from Spy X Family, Princess Ariel from Little Mermaid. Definitely, she's a favorite character of mine. Big Mom, Law, Dofi and Caesar Clown from One Piece. I, like I said, I've got so many different characters. I think I'm, what I'll do is probably make a big video on that in just general because I think I can get more into that and I think that'd be more fun. So if you want to see that kind of thing, let me know in the comments below. The next question is Thomas Mitch. How did you find out you enjoy the creepy stuff? Boo! With a little pumpkin emoji. Um, I probably would say... I just really gravitated towards it. I thought it was just really, I was a lot of curiosity and I thought it was really cool, honestly. And probably when I was a kid and I thought it was just spooky and I liked it. I just think they're neat. And there was another question as well that, similar to that, what made you love the paranormal? Honestly, I'd probably say it started off with my grandma, my mum's mum, because she would really like watch all this kind of stuff like spooky things and scary like ghosty stuff and things and then she introduced me to Beyond Belief, Facts or Fiction. I adore that show. I freaking love it and then um, I'd watch it all the time like, after school and um, it was on like one of the one of the channels, I cannot remember what channel it was on, I think it was like Sky or something like that, but I'd put it on and I would just watch it. It was like on for like an hour after school and it was great. And um, there was one of the episodes that scared the shit out of me and it was this woman that was really nasty and she was very vanity stricken and she went into this hairdresser's and the hairdresser like did her hair, hair wrong or makeup or something like that. So the hairdresser was like a, a gypsy and she cursed her and when every time this vanity stricken woman looked in the mirror she just saw this ugly thing and this man came to her like to her aid and got her story and things like that and she had all these creams. I think he was like a doctor or something like that because he, she couldn't figure out what was going on and when he spoke to her he's like there's nothing wrong with you and um she holds up her mirror and I was not expecting it and this like really it looked like a fish head and you seen it was the eyes was bulgy the face was all grey and everything like that she held the mirror up and that's what she saw but then I, I didn't get, I didn't like it because I got such a fright and then she turned around at the camera but she was normal she wasn't actually ugly at all it was just what she could see in reflection so it was like her soul was showing what she's actually like and it was so Ooh, it freaked me out um but say like definitely from since then but i will say though i did like it but it still freaked me out i still got really scared and everything like that and i think that's a good thing obviously but um yeah it probably was from way back then but um i met my partner and he introduced me to like chills from on youtube and like nook and things like that and nook sort of five and yeah i would say like just from that a lot of curiosity um and just this really gravity is a lot of spooky stuff yeah, I'd probably say that. Um, but my partner actually thought he would um, find some questions for me as well because um, I wanted to have like about like about I think it was twenty. If I'm wrong, whoops. Um, but he actually found some questions and he wanted me to answer them as well. So I'm going to do them too. So these are his questions that is for the video as well. So enjoy. <laughs> um, so. Um, how do you spend your free time where you're not doing stuff for YouTube? Well, as of recent, I have been doing a lot of walking because where I'm at the now, um, still, it's still spring, but it's going into like early summer is coming up. So um, I have been doing a lot of walking and it's been really nice. It's lots of fun to walk when you're just wearing everything in black. <laughs> but it, no, it's, it's really fun. I was reading Harry Potter 4. I got into the fourth book, but I kind of got a little bit bored. So I'm on to trying to read Dracula. When I say trying to read like I'm I'm not really like one for reading classical literature 
although I'm trying to. So I picked that up and I've had it for god knows how long, like years and years and years. And um, I'm on to like chapter two and it's actually pretty good. Um, so I'm reading that at the moment and just watching stuff on YouTube, catching up on things like that. Um, me and partner are just like chilling, doing our own thing. We like, That's a lot of things that we do. We just like spend time together and going for walks or just hanging out watching our shows. Um, sit and watch um, whatever we have, like our dinner and stuff like that. And we'll sit and watch um, whatever program we're watching. So like I said, we're in the middle of watching a new Asha. We're on like episode 26 or something, something like that by the time this video is done anyway. And yeah, that's that's much what I do and obviously like um go nuts in my head try to think of figuring out what other things to do for like videos and um, when it comes to video games if I'm in the mood to play it I'll um, play a video game if um, I'm in the mood to do so I read a book this really depends like a lot of the time um I'll get into really want to do something for ages like I'll binge something so like I was like I was playing Mad Father it's not a long game either. It's like about five hours or something long, so it's not long. But I just sat and binged that for the night. And then the next day I'll do something completely different. And then I've got my tablet and it's got a, a way to that you can draw on it. So I had like my drawn thing for that and I just started drawing doodles <laughs> randomly on Krita. And I was just like, yeah, why not? And I listen to music, that kind of thing. Um, if you could have any superpower, what would it be and how would you use it? Um... If I had a superpower, oh, what would that be? Um, sometimes I want to fly. I really want to fly. I think that would be fun, but I've got, I'm afraid of heights, so that kind of sucks. Um, <laughs> I don't think that would come in handy if I'm afraid of heights. Hmm, I don't know. I used to want to talk to animals a lot when I was a kid. Like, um, I remember watching Wild Thornberries and I wanted to be like Eliza and I wanted to be able to talk to, to animals a lot of the time. So I suppose kind of something like that would be kind of cool. Um, yeah, I suppose that, something like that would be right. Uh, what's something about you that may surprise people? I would probably say that when I was um, younger and I couldn't sleep at night, I would put on the song from Che Che Bang Bang, the Hush by Mountain so uh, lullaby song, because I couldn't sleep and it helped me sleep. Nowadays, that if me and my partner are struggling to sleep, I still have that song, but I sing it instead. And so when we were like struggling to sleep, which was actually last night, I sing that lullaby. I'd probably say that is something that not everyone is um, knows of. So there. Um, what's your favourite season and why? One of my favourite seasons I would probably say is spring because I like the fact that um, everything's so colourful, believe it or not. Um, I like the fact that one of my favourite flowers is actually um, cherry blossom. And um, I like it when all the baby animals are around and everything's really pretty, things like that. I say spring is one of my favourites, just for that reason. And it's nice and bright and I get I feel more energised when it's sunny outside. But it has to be sunny and a breeze. I like a breeze. I don't like it being too hot because then I get annoyed. And I don't like being too hot. What's your favourite comfort food and guilty snack? Bacon. I really like bacon. Bacon's really good. Yeah, I'd say that. Uh, can you share a childhood memory that has stuck with you? Uh, sure. Um, I wasn't. <laughs> this, this is. There's a lot of injuries when I was a kid. Um, I'll give two actually. So the first one, I was with my cousins and, and my brother, and we were like outside playing, and we were like in this like little woods bit, and where we were, it wasn't like far away. It was like it was like a, like a strip of woods or trees, if you will. And we were wanting to play like survival things and that's what we called it. We didn't really have a name for it. So um, when we were there, they were like in a fallen down tree and me and my brother were like, okay, we're going to go back to the shop, shop, no, <laughs> we're going to go back to the house and we're going to go and get us survival gear as in sweeties and things like that from the, the freaking cupboard because that's survival. So we're heading back and they're like, yeah, yeah, okay, no worries. We're going to set up camp here, as in gather sticks and pretend, right? And so me and my brother were heading back and I didn't realise there was a plank of wood and a big, big ass nail sticking out of it and I stepped right on it. Didn't go through my foot, but I stepped on it and then I just screamed. My brother got such a fright. I'd even notice he'd left to go and get someone. Um, but I was screaming and I was leaning against a tree and it was that loud that these people were walking their dogs next to the fire station, it was around about that area and they came and got me, all these adults appeared and my whole, my foot 
was covered in blood and all my shoe but my shoes had to be chucked out because it was just blood everywhere and um, so I'm sorry if like if you just don't like blood and it just like made you uncomfortable sorry um but yeah that was one memory another one was I was on holiday with my family and it was me my dad my dad's girlfriend at the time and my, my brother and we're going for like a nice walk as you do like with your parents stuff like that and we were up this wood bit and you know and every time you go to the woods there's always someone that's made a tire swing or like some sort of swing and there was and there was like a rope and I had like a stick in it and um we decided to play with it and where it was it was like a hill and it was kind of like a hill bit for if you know what I mean like there's like woods and there's like a big dip part so you could like all these trees at the bottom kind of thing if that, if that makes any sense so when you went on the, the swing you swung out into nothing and there's a big drop that kind of thing so my dad went he's fine my brother went he's fine I went and got to the highest point I was closing my eyes I was so scared got to the highest point and then let go because I freaked out and panicked and I just tumbled all the way down and my dad's like you're very lucky you did not break your neck and you're very lucky you did not um, break your leg and I just went away with like a couple of muddy nests on me like a wee bruise on my arm and I'm like he's like why did you let go and I'm like I don't know I freaked out <laughs> so yeah that that's the um, couple of childhood memories that stuck with me many others as well but I think I'll make a different video on that if you are interested um what is the most outrageous fashion trend you have tried or wanted to try? For like weird fashion that I have tried, I'd probably say for when I had skinny jeans, I did not suit them. I didn't like wearing them. I'd probably say them. They really, really sucked. I also had these shoes my mum bought me and I don't know how to describe them, but they were just like high heeled boots, but they were very tight at the lacy part. I'll see if I can find a picture and pop it up here so you guys can see it but I hated wearing them. I tried and they just felt like the circulation and my freaking ankles were god like gone and yeah I didn't like them. For a fashion trend that we'd like to try, I really like fashion that is um or clothes sorry that's quite loose and things so I really like I quite gravitate a lot to the boho kind of hippie look. And I really like um, a lot of their clothes. It looks very like comfy. So I probably want to try something from that. And just like more to my colours that I really enjoy. Because I've never tried like, I've never done tie dye or anything like that. You know, like DIY making them. And I would like to try that. I think that would actually be really fun. So what's the weirdest dream you've ever had? Um, I actually had a couple of weird dreams recently. Billy Idol actually was in my dream and he was telling me that I could totally be a singer. That was interesting. Um, I've had too many weird dreams to say the more weirdest dream. I had a dream where um, I had Jesse and James. This is one that po uh, stuck with me for so long and I was at when I was um, a kid, my granddad used to have his field outside his house and Jesse and James from Pokemon were getting chased by a giant hamster. I don't know why, but that I was just watching, observing it happen. It was interesting. Um, Another dream I actually had um, the other night and it was my, my dad's dog, the family dog. Um, she passed away a couple of years ago. She was in my dream and every time you've seen her, she'd always like, kind of like, lick your hand and she, I was like, oh, hi, Molly. And then she licked my hand and that was it. And then it was just all this other stuff. Gaston was in my dream last night. I don't know why, but he was there. It's just uh, random stuff. Oh, I have a lot of weird dreams. I don't eat anything before, like, I don't eat cheese before bed or anything like that. They just, I'm just weird. <laughs> um, and lots, lots of stuff. Oh, the worst dreams, though. The worst dreams, I would have to say, is when um, you're going across a bridge and the bridge falls down. That is awful. I have had a couple of dreams like that when you're in a car and you're driving off, you're, you're, the bridge is falling down and you've driven off the bridge and you go into the water and it's like that and it's horrible. Mm -mm, no, bizarre. Um, oh, actually, another dream I actually had the other night there is uh, me and my partner were like um, going for a walk. And we were chatting away and um, we seen a kestrel in the sky, in the branch, on a branch. And I'm like, oh, look, an eagle. And then he's like, no, it's a, it's a kestrel. And I'm like, oh, right, okay. And um, then it went and flew away, but it went into this really cool, you know when you see it like in movies and it's just like a, like a Dracula thing and there's like a big cloak and like, shoo, like that. I don't know how to do it, but um, it was like that. And it was really cool and he went away and flew away. It was really bizarre. It was so cool though. 
Um, if you switch lives with any fictional character for a week, who would it be and why? Oh, um, I would want to swap lives with, um, excuse me, Princess Ariel when she's not a human. When she's a mermaid from the TV series version. Which I just remember, that's also another TV show I really liked, by the way. Definitely her because I want to, like, be... That's another question, but I'll just use her the now. I'd want to like go around in Atlantica and just be like that, a mermaid. That'd be really fun. Definitely her. Or, oh, Thorn from Scooby-Doo. I'd want to be her as well because she can sing and play guitar and I can't do the guitar thing. I try and sing, but I don't know if it's as good as that. But um, I'd want to be her and she looks freaking hot and I want, to play, <laughs> I want to be her. That'd be awesome. I'd want to be her for a week. No, I don't want to be Ariel. I want to be Thorn from Scooby-Doo, uh, the Hex Girls. Um, if you could time travel to any time in history, where would you go and what would you do? Oh, do you know what's funny? We were talking about this the other time, other day, and I always wanted to live in the 80s, right? I used to binge, oh, The Lost Boys is another movie I really like, by the way, just to say. Um, the Lost Boys, I used to, I got it on DVD and I watched it like about six times at Christmas. I freaking love that movie. And um, we were watching it. So we were watching it. I was watching it. Sorry, it was way back then, and I really wanted to live in the eighties. I thought that the style was really badass and cool and everything like that. And um, going by obviously the music, I like it back then too. But we were talking about this, and I have changed my mind on that. I don't want to live back then. I want to live probably in two thousand nine, is when I would want to be because that was my teenage years, and I am um, unfortunately still at school in two thousand nine. So. Pfft, but um, I'd probably say then, maybe 2010, but probably around that bat, bat time. It was before the internet got huge, as in like, it was only Facebook and Bebo really back then. Barely used it, and um, I was just going out most of the time, and that was really fun. And I had all the music that I really liked then as well. And I was young, so then. <laughs> that's, if I could time travel and be young again, there, that would be awesome. That's what I would do. Um, so the last question, last but not least, is if you could be any mythical creature, what would you choose and why? Dun 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 dun, a mermaid. A mermaid, but also a witch. That's what I would be. Um, I'd definitely be a mermaid. I've always loved mermaids ever since I was a kid. Um, I want to be a mermaid. I've watched this mermaid documentary where folk actually get to do that in America and I'm so jealous that they get to go do that we have like nothing like that over here and it sucks not that I know anyway and um yeah I'd, I'd love to be that and nice pretty water too not in the the water that's around here blech <laughs> um I'd want to be that but also I want to be a witch so many things but also want to be a vampire so uh <laughs> Maybe not a vampire, the eternal life of a vampire. That'd be nice, so I can learn lots of stuff, but definitely I want to have like mystical powers. So I want to be a witch, but a mermaid. That'd be really cool. A mermaid witch, because there is a t there's a, an episode in the Aladdin TV series, and then Jasmine gets um, captured by a mermaid. That was my favourite episode. I watched it so many times, just because it's the mermaid in it. And she has uh, mystical powers, and she used her mystical powers to become a human. So there, that's what it would be. And just to say, to wrap this video up, my avatar has barely moved her mouth the whole time and I am freaking sorry. So I don't know why, it's just annoying. But um, yeah, but anyway, that is um, all the questions. I hope you enjoyed the video. It blabbed on for about 45 odd minutes. So I do apologize for that. I kind of blab quite a lot. But I've been thinking of other videos as well. Um, it's not just reacting stuff. There's uh, many other things. I'm kind of wanting to do like um, un goth confessions i've seen a lot of videos like that a lot popping up so i thought that'd be really fun like top 10 on goth confessions and goth cliches or um just other stuff like like talking about like my, my interest in movies and things like that or interest in general um i could do a whole video on it but if that's something you'd like to see please let me know in the comments below and um, because there's many other things i'd like to do that's just um as well so but i We'll catch you all later on. I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day, a night, wherever you are, wherever you are in the world. Enjoy yourselves, and I'll catch you later. Bye for now.